There are a couple of different ways to cut out the sail for your kite. Uh, one of the ways that many kite makers use is to make a half a template like this. This is just one half of the kite. And then they simply fold the material they're going to use. And that becomes the spine line right there. And they simply put the pattern, the template, align it to the spine line and cut it out. Uh, I use a utility knife or I use an exacto knife. Uh, it, it just kind of depends on the material and how delicate or intricate, rather, the shape of the kite is. And uh, you can use a cutting mat or you can use a piece of uh, very smooth flat cardboard or anything else to protect the surface that you're working on. And this is a very popular way to do it. And the benefit, of course, is that when you fold it over, as long as you're precise in this, you end up with a kite shape that is uniform right, right side to left side which is important. Another way to do it is to cut it out using the whole kite template, the whole shape of the kite here, like this, and just cut around that. For example, I could do it like this, just put it on here, and then just take my knife and cut around it. Very easy. All you have to do is make sure you're pressing down and it doesn't move uh, from the uh, position while you're cutting it. Now, when I make my templates, if I use it like this, I use a Dremel and put a small hole at two points on the spine and at the point where the a uh, line that connects the two wingtips crosses the spine. I put a hole there and I put a hole at each of the wingtips. And when I make my kite, when I'm ready to cut it out, before I cut it, I simply put my uh, Sharpie marker into the holes and make a mark. That way I know where the key points are after I've cut the kite out. I don't have to go back and measure or do anything else. It's all right there. I just get through with cutting it out and connect the lines. It makes it very simple and repeatable. So that's the way to do it with a full-size template. Now there's another, these are all ways to do it. I guess you'd call it cold type or razor blade cutting or something like that. I don't know what it's called, we're just cutting. <laughs> but the other way is to hot cut it. And that's the way I typically cut out my kite uh, sail is hot cut it. And what I do there is I remove my mat and underneath my mat is tempered glass. This is my tempered glass surface and I just wiped it down with a piece of paper towel <clears throat> so it's clean. And then what I do is spray a little bit of water on it. This is uh, what I do when I'm going to make a kite from um, a polyfilm. Now here's the polyfilm right here. I'm going to turn it over so that the back side is up. 
and then I'm going to flatten it out. Now this is wrinkled, severely wrinkled. I did it on purpose. And now I'm going to try to get the wrinkles out. Now you can see on here I've drawn around a kite template. And what I do is put, I draw this out in order to put tape, a strip of tape, I'll put black here, just to make it easy to see, to reinforce the nose section of the kite sail in both directions. And I do that before I cut the kite out so that when I cut it, I cut through the tape and the kite sail material all at one time. And doing it this way, I hot cut it. And by hot cutting, all I mean is I use a soldering iron or a hot cutting tool, which is a little beefier than this, but both of them work equally well. And what I do is quite simple. I just take my kite pattern after I've got my tape on and realign it onto the kite skin best I can, or at least in a way that is going to allow me to trim the nose tape at the same time. Having it perfectly aligned isn't critical because what I'm going to do is to begin cutting it out. And just like when I cut with a knife on a full-size template, when I'm doing it here, I also use a Sharpie marker and in the holes that I have drilled through the cardboard template, I make a mark at the wingtip line and at the spine. In order to identify those key points, when I finish cutting it out, I can then connect those dots and have a completed uh, and aligned position for the wingtips and the nose and the tail of the kite, and I'll know where the spine is. And I do that because sometimes, even though I draw it out ahead of time to, in order to get this nose section taped up, I put it into the, uh, the marker into the dots because sometimes when I put the kite template back onto the skin, it's not aligned exactly right to, to the original drawing. So I always go by the dots, not by what was originally drawn. And then I simply take my hot cutter and because this glass is not affected by the heat, I can cut it out right here. I can just go along the uh, perimeter of my template with the tip of my cutter. And what it does is it cuts through the material and, well, it normally does. I just wanted to show you a little bit here so that you get the idea. And when it does that, it does it by melting the plastic, the polyfilm. And that melted additional plastic accumulates on the edge of the kite, which reinforces and strengthens the trailing edge or, or the nose section or any part of the sail. 
And that's why I like to do it. And that's the primary reason I use full-size templates. Now, there are some kite makers that can use a half a template and do hot cutting and are successful with that. I have not had much success doing it that way. I've attempted it a few times, but always revert back to this idea of a full-size template. So I hope this helps in your uh, approach to cutting out, uh, how to cut out a kite skin. If you had any questions about it, I hope this answered it. And if not, send me an email and I'll be happy to answer it if I know the answer that is. <laughs> And uh, hope to see you on the flying field soon.